Megan and Keegan, I'm at one of those bridges right now, Purple Creek Bridge on Colonial Circle right off Meadowbrook Road. And this is one of the closures that, that's affecting many people in this neighborhood trying to make it to work. I talk with several residents in the neighborhood voicing their concerns along with city leaders who tell me their plans for the future repairs. This is one of the bridge closers inconveniencing drivers and raising concerns for many throughout the Colonial Circle neighborhood. It's an inconvenience having to go all the way back up and then go around. It makes it a little difficult. With many having to make the detour, some drivers say many people aren't paying attention to pedestrians when driving through the neighborhoods. And no one abides by that law and that really gets to me because I have a two year old daughter. So I just feel like that bridge being now it, it's causing a lot of chaos for the city. Plus, I work right up the road. Williams isn't the only one affected. City leaders are concerned after Governor Phil Bryant declared a state of emergency Wednesday, ordering the closure of more than 100 bridges in more than a dozen counties. We have the money to repair the bridges in the county. Uh, the problem is, is that bridges are so bad until we're having more bridges to repair each and every day. I understand the counties are not happy with that because they have to spend money on inspections where they should have been spending money on repairs, but um, that's after the barn door has been left open. A Hines County Supervisor says more bridges are added to the list daily. The supervisor says this is creating a hardship on those trying to make their way into the city. As of right now, the only thing we can do is to ask uh, Federal Highway if they can to make um, sure that they inspect these bridges as quickly as they possibly can. But we will be probably continuing the inspection uh, for the next 30 days. Um, there are thousands and thousands of bridges throughout uh, rural Mississippi, particularly uh, wooden structures and that take some time to inspect. Governor Bryant's planning to call a special legislative session to consider a long term payment plan for improvements on state roads and bridges. Governor Bryant says he won't call a special session until lawmakers can agree how to fund the bridge repairs. House Speaker Philip Gunn's in favor of raising the gas tax by eight cents. Um, Lieutenant Governor Tate Reeves says he's opposed to that idea. Live in Jackson, Jennifer Lott, 16 WAPT News.